This matter, we're going to review uh, the past analysis. And I have here um, uh, a page from FX Street with the, uh, some of the past analysis uh, I provided two weeks ago. Euro Canadian dollar, uh, the Euro Australian dollar, the Euro Japanese yen, the Euro pound, and Euro Swiss franc. So for, um, um, for accountability, I'm going to review each and uh, every of uh, this one. So uh, I want to start from the Euro uh, versus the uh, Canadian uh, dollar here. Uh, I mentioned a potential move lower into the 138.80 area. And you can review that video, of course, on FX Street. But uh, what I'm interested in too is reviewing, reviewing the chart and uh, see where that um, this market is uh, at this uh, very moment. The reason why I mentioned uh, the uh, 138.80 uh, uh, level or area here is because this is um, this has been this is a target of a measured move that identified in uh, in the past weeks. This is the um, 4850 extension, it is still in a process of pushing price lower. And that first target is that 13880. So uh, this market, uh, it's pretty neutral when it comes to weekly uh, dump money, but uh, it has an area of resistance that is in play at the moment. And that's represented by the 145, 146 area here. So as you can see, the dump money starts supporting this price, but if uh, participation from algos comes at these levels, uh, we could see a move lower. Now, um, uh, the reason why I wouldn't uh, trust at this point, uh, this uh, continued move lower here is because of support that we have at the weekly as well. So yeah, I will scratch that uh, at the moment, uh, and I only provided a potential uh, for a target, uh, and the reason why it was only a potential is because of the support on the monthly time frames. All right. So next, um, I want to I want to touch on the Euro Australian dollar, which is one of the markets uh, that actually has uh, reached all the targets um, 144 45 42 90 and 41 30 uh, just a few um, 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 and i think the low was i don't know is 141 26 so it's very very close to that level so let's review this uh, market your australian dollar and if you remember, um, this market is, uh, you know, within a sequences of measured move shorts on a monthly, on the weekly, and then also on the daily. Look at the beauty of it. Uh, just will remove this to avoid uh, noise here. But uh, the participation that we saw 150, 30 broke price right into that 141.20, just to the pip there. Okay, so this market is very extended and um, it has obviously the potential to continue lower. And the reason for that is uh, because there are uh, algorithms that are positioned in this market and uh, they're going to uh, actually, they're interested in pushing this price lower into 138.80 as well. Now, what we don't know, what we don't know is whether that is going to happen right away or we are going to get a retrace in this market. It's a pretty interesting market. If we get a retrace, we'll find a lot of resistance here. And um, and one, uh, one area that uh, we uh, want to look at is definitely the 143.30 for a continuation load. So congrats to uh, all of you who uh, took this trade. Of course, I took this trade. I took this trade as well, and uh, as um, all of my students who, who actually follow me, the Euro Japanese yen uh, I mentioned uh, traded this 117.88, and this is the only pair actually not moving lower, at least not moving lower 
uh, yet. Now, that doesn't mean that that's not necess necessarily a problem because um, the uh, the actual setup for this market came in uh, the beginning of uh, at the end of July here, and that was the 117.80. That's the level that they've indicated there, and that level has targets below. Now, so far, this market has been hovering around um, around previous lows here, and the, although this market has resistance from um, from uh, the bear money here, dump, dump money. Uh, short, this level is being worked out, and it's also a possibility for this market to come back to test at 118.80. Uh, okay, so if you enter around those levels, you have to be aware that this market has the potential to uh, to do that. However, this market uh, could also, um, you know, get a, uh, some participation on the downside from Argos as soon as he gets into this area where the um, weekly 13 EMA is at the moment. So really, not really a lot to do in this market, and uh, I would actually, I would actually scratch, I would actually scratch the idea. Next, uh, next market I wanted to review is um, is the euro versus the uh, pound, and I mentioned that the retrace will be uh, pretty deep. Now that retrace has not started yet, and I'm going to show you why. Um, because this market at the moment is uh, on top of a daily resistance. As soon as that daily resistance will and if will uh, give way, we should see actually this market correcting pretty deep, deep. As you can see here, this is the daily resistance, the 8880 area here which has acted as a support once. Um, we will see whether that level is retested or not. This level is also on top of a bull uh, dump money area here that is going to support this price. If we see this price below 88.20, uh, I think we're gonna get that um, deep uh, correction that I mentioned before, and that could bring price down, let's see 200 pips here into 86.20. That's but we could see this price uh, move into. All right, so this is something to keep in mind. Uh, and on the daily, uh, there is participation on the downside that is opposing uh, the participation uh, that we, uh, we saw so far on the upside. This is the participation on the downside. And um, as you can see, is a classic example of Algos trading one against the other. We had the daily four hour pushing price lower and the daily so far supporting price higher along with the dump money um, um, the um, the bull uh, dump money here uh, in this area if the bull uh, is lost here if this area is lost if the bull do not keep participating uh, we're going to see a break and then potentially uh, retreat into previous highs here and next area of support from the weekly 086.30. Okay, so that's what we're going to see uh, potentially this price. So uh, the analysis that uh, that I did two weeks ago is still valid. And finally, the Euro's risk franc, uh, which also met uh, the target uh, on its way to retest previous lower 108.34. So again, congrats if you, um, if you actually took the trade. And uh, here the point is we had this price revisiting previous uh, low here. And I mentioned the, uh, 30, um, the 30 area here, the 40 area would be uh, an area that would be uh, retested. Interestingly enough, uh, this market uh, has the potential to move even lower, as I mentioned in the video two weeks ago, and that would be 0.10717. And um, the reason for that is that's the next area of support. There's no other area of support besides previous size. And interestingly enough, this market has traded already 108. 57, which is the next extension short. If this market retests this level, this is a strong resistance. Okay, so 108, 57, 
it's an actual strong resistance uh, for this market and this is also a trading idea for next uh, week as well okay, and so this concludes the first part uh, where we reviewed uh, the past recommendation as you can see there were uh, basically two winners um, uh, three um, uh, two trades still on and uh, and the euro japanese yen which is scratched <clears throat> i also want to review the new gender japanese yen which is uh, along with the australian dollar japanese yen it's a trade that uh, has the potential to um, to i mean still working of course as you will remember we reviewed this two weeks ago as well we mentioned this area of uh, support from weekly uh, which was retested and as you remember i mentioned uh, to take a position in the 73 uh, area here on top of this level after confirmation from fit stalking and what happened is that uh, this market came back to trace uh, the next measure more 50 percent of trace and which was also supported by dump uh, money long here so at this point we have this market we have the potential for this market it, it starts moving higher to re, to revisit the uh, 7580 level and potentially 7680 so these are two targets for um these uh, market which, is up, which are updated targets the second target and final target 7680 it's not it's not changed i'm giving you an intermediate um uh, intermediate uh, uh, first target here and uh, when we see at the australian dollar japanese yen basically this was the same trade here the reason why this market has moved more is because of the cpi yesterday which actually obviously moved the market in the direction of the uh, current setup and remember that news always moved the market in the direction of setups uh, after the noise of course in the direction of the um, of the um, existing uh, setups from algos in this case that was the 7888 okay so this concludes the first part